those gingerbread houses, those giant trees, the massive waves and the natural beauty. Sounds like Carmel by the Sea, right? Our latest stop on the California Highway 1 adventure and what a stop it is with so many great photo opportunities that I want to tell you all about on today's episode. They include this oh so cute downtown that's full of fairy tale cottages from another era, those cypress and pine trees, a historic mission that just celebrated its 250th anniversary and the rugged, rocky, dramatic coastlines. Photo Walks TV is at its best when we come to town and team up with a local photographer who will show us the town through his or her eyes. And today we are really lucky to have a date with Manny Espinoza, who is an amazing local photographer. And we're gonna say hi to Manny in just a moment. But first, some quick logistics. Carmel by the Sea is at the end of our Route 1 Central California trip, up the road from Big Sur and just south of Monterey and Santa Cruz. We have one little square mile here, but it's such a fairy tale little European village just plopped in along the coast of California. And all of our little cobblestone streets and um, the fairy tale cottages. We have uh, 20 wineries, 50 restaurants, and over 80 galleries, art galleries. So, and, and no stoplights and no addresses. And no stoplights and no addresses. Uh, everybody has to go pick up their mail at the post office. It keeps that little community feel. Once you park your car where you're staying, you will be able to walk all over town. Here's a quick, really easy five stop photo walk plan in the Carmel Village. Start at the tourism office for maps and tips. The new mural on Mission Street is a really popular spot for an Insta selfie. The little Swiss restaurant on Dolores Street is right down the way and it will keep you busy for hours staring at this wall painting of what seems to be just a normal Holland landscape, but there's more to it. The fairy tale gingerbread homes of Carmel are probably the most popular photo op after sunset. The Tuck Box, two blocks away, is one great example, as is the Cottage of Sweets on busy Ocean Avenue. Now, speaking of ocean, go down it all the way to the sea, and one block before you hit the water is Scenic Road, which is where we will be doing our sunset shot. This is just one of the many recommended sunset spots. Anywhere along Scenic Avenue, you can catch the most beautiful sunsets you're going to find in the whole world. Honestly, the view from the mission, Carmel Missionary Be Mission Beach, is just gorgeous. Ribera Beach. I just like how secluded it is and, and just more calm and there's not as many tourists there because they don't know about it. Carmel doesn't promote it like they do Carmel Beach. What do we like to do when we go on vacation? We like to share our travel photos. What we don't like to do is to put them on the social network and have the control of our photos taken over by that network and have the resolution ground down to like 10% of the original photo. That's why I subscribe to Smug Mug, which is the sponsor of this series. I post the photos there and then I put them on social media. At full resolution, I'm even able to put a watermark on there with my name at the bottom of the screen and that's kind of nice. That said, Let's go meet Manny. Hey, Jeff. I'm Jeff. How you doing? Good, Jeff, good. Well, thanks for meeting me here in Carmel by the Sea. Well, welcome to Carmel. We're, we're, out, we're on Historic Ocean Avenue. Yes, Historic Ocean Avenue. Um, in front of the oldest, one of the oldest buildings. One of the oldest buildings. Established in 1899. Yeah, the Carmel Bakery. It's been, I, I think, consistently a bakery for, yeah, since it started. I understand they make good pretzels. They do make good pretzels. This one's a little hard, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, let's talk about you. You All are right. a Carmel photographer. You photograph hotels and restaurants and landscapes and, and golf Cars courses. Cars and events and golf courses. Tell me about the, these alleys. They're all over town, right? Yes, well, Carmel, um, <clears throat> when, I guess when it was designed, uh, each, almost every block in Carmel has a, has a secret pathway, a secret alley. And uh, if you're a local, you kind of know where they all are. It, it saves you some time, when, especially when it's busy and there's uh, hordes of people in town. All right, well, let, let's go see some other stuff. I just got to figure out a way to get in there with you. Oh, uh -huh, yeah, we, we don't get to walk together, really. No. Uh, all right. It's very uh, narrow. This okay. is the world famous Cypress Inn. Yes, This is Jeff. the place that was owned by Doris Day. Doris Day and Danny Levette. It's, uh, it's our most iconic hotel here in Carmel. So everything you see here is uh, either dog related or door stay related. 
So besides uh, doing photography here in town, I've only, you know, I've been a graphic designer much longer than I've been a photographer, but I also do a lot of work for the local businesses, hotels, restaurants. Uh, and this is a brochure I designed for uh, Cypress Inn. Uh, I love this style, it's called a, a gatefold. That's my photo for, of, of the, uh, the living room here. So if we were gonna recreate that right now and walk outside, can you direct me? What, to shoot this picture again? That exact shot. I'm gonna come right out here. Yes. Wide angle lens, ultra wide. This high maybe? Uh, yeah, pretty yeah. close. You, what you will not do is you will not do one of these. No. Right? No. Because yeah. it, it's just too twit. Yeah. Because it's too distorted, yes, right? Yes, exactly. You want it to look regular. So structurally, I got your shot. Yes. Just don't have any of the color, any of the style. Next, we got in the car for a little ride. This is the Mission Ranch. Mission Ranch. Yes. Okay. And uh, it's Clint Easton owns it. Well, it's been here for years. Uh, I guess the story is back in the day, some developers wanted to buy it and tear it all down and, and make some condos. Mm -hmm. And uh, Clint Eastwood said, no way. So he bought it and it's kept it the same. It's and, classic. And you've got the sheep. Go ahead. Let me get a shot of you doing that. Do oh. It Do it again. It must <laughs> feel really good. <laughs> yeah. But no, I, I like to get the angle from here. So this is a hard life for you to have to come to places like this every day, right? <laughs> That's what I was talking about is just, you know, getting to, to work and live and getting paid to uh, take pictures. Then it got even better. Just three miles away, Point Lobos, one of the most popular of the California state parks. It's close. It's easily to access. You know, I don't have to drive all the way to Big Sur. So what are we going to go photograph here? We're going to go to, uh, we're going to take a little trail here and we're going to go over to, um, to Bird Rock and then get a view of the coast. There's a beach down there, so let's just, let's have a look. Okay, great. All right. Point the way. This, this way? This way. All right. All here right. we go. Yeah. Okay, so here's a case where the iPhone is not gonna help you much. For photos, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's too hard, unless you want a big wide shot. I got it. A somewhat decent shot of the cliff over there. Not too bad. We're just not going to get a close-up of a bird, which I can get on my handy-dandy camera. There you go. Yeah. Oh, nice cove. Can you walk yeah, down Yeah, beautiful, there? is it? No, you can't. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. I'm like, oh. Yeah, they're all kind of just sleeping. Oh. And there's a little tiny one over there. Oh, little baby. What are, are those seals? There's one right there. Look, with its mom. Oh. They just, they just, yeah, they've just been, they've just been kind of being, oh. they've, they've, they're are really they new. What I think they're seals. Yeah, they're new. There's another one over there. Just had a pup. Manny, thank you so much for showing us around Carmel and Point Lobos. You're you are welcome, quite Jim. a find. You're All quite right. a guy. Well, thank you. Uh, tell everybody pleasure. how to see your work. Uh, you can find my work on Instagram at Carmel's Photographer, car, plural, Carmel's Photographer, and on my website at uh, mannyespinosa.com. And if you're in the Carmel area here, uh, pick up a 65 degree magazine. Uh, I do all the layout and design and I do most of the photography for it. All right, we'll check that out. Right. Now we're gonna be back in one second with some photo tips about how we got some of the photos today. So stay tuned, Manny, all right, head buddy. off to work. Cheers. Okay. All right. Thank you, bye-bye. Now before we say goodbye, we have two more key stops. First of all, the famous 17-mile drive is right next to Carmel and is best known for two key photo ops, the 18th hole of the legendary Pebble Beach Golf Course and the Lone Cypress Tree, which sits majestically atop a rock, a beloved local icon. 
And don't leave Carmel without first stopping by Ribera Beach, which, if you remember our friend Shelly telling us at the beginning of the episode, is a really cool beach with stunning views and a great place for walkers and joggers, too. It's right at the tail end of Ribera Road, which is where the beloved actress Betty White used to live part-time. Sunsets here take advantage of the great rocky coast down that way and these great trees that you just don't see everywhere. The key to a great sunset here is shooting the sunset through the tree. So some tips here. Look for a great tree without distractions like cars parked in front of it and try to get the entire tree in the shot. That can be hard to do unless you reach for the ultra-wide lens on your smartphone. Look at the difference. Ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto because if you can't capture the whole thing, Try to zoom in then on a specific branch. The sun looks great when it's peeking through the branches. You'll also want to remember to reach high up to get the tree at the top. Many people tend to photograph trees um, and block off the top branches. It's a hard thing to do, but just reach for the sky with your ultra-wide lens and you'll pull it off. To show off the fairy tale homes, make them pop by buying a gingerbread cookie at the Carmel Bakery and either holding it in front of your phone or having a friend hold it for you. The mission looks stunning in the morning when the sun beats down on it. Later in the day, it's in the shadow. Not worth your time. Cypress Inn, as Manny showed you, putting the camera on wide and stepping back is really much all you need to do. Don't put it on ultra wide and get right in front of the building or it will look distorted. The alleys, well, here you do want to go ultra-wide because a distorted alley is fun to look at. You can do this in either vertical or horizontal. Waves, use the top volume button on your phone to shoot in burst mode. That lets you stop action with the faster shutter. Or shoot the waves as a slow-mo video since it looks so awesome. Thanks for watching today's Photo Walks TV episode from Carmel by the Sea. Now we have one more stop on our Highway 1 journey this go around and that would be just north in Monterey. So please stay tuned. Meanwhile, please like, please share, please comment and subscribe to Photo Walks TV. I'll see y'all in Monterey.